OK, so now we know the pinout, we're ready to wire this up to an Arduino, right? No. Um, and the reason being is because it takes too much amperage, it takes too much current. Um, it wouldn't be very nice to subject an Arduino to this relay because it takes around about uh, 60 or 70 milliamps, which is far too much for an Arduino. Uh, let me just show you that. Get my multimeter and set it to amps. Just break this connection here. Okay. And you can see that it takes 0 0.07 amps, which is 70 milliamps. So that won't do. So what do we do now? Well, what we should do is drive it using a transistor. Um, just an ordinary transistor like this one. Well, what we should do is drive it using a transistor, just like this one. So this is a Toshiba C1815. I don't know if you can read that. No, probably not, but C1815. It's just a general purpose NPN transistor. So we can drive the, the relay using this transistor. So the way it will work is that we'll have the, we'll have a five volt supply to supply current to the coil and then we'll put this transistor in the low side. Uh, what it means by low side is that the transistor will come into play after the voltage drop from the coil. In other words, the coil will be subject to power first and then the transistor after that to act like a switch. Okay, so I'm gonna be using an FTDR UART, an Arduino Pro Mini, and some jumper wires which look like they've come out of gay pride or something. To start with we've got the transistor and I'll just push this in, um, well anywhere really, I'll put it in there. Now as for the relay, it's not technically breadboard, breadboard friendly but um, you can, with a bit of encouragement it will go in. So if I just, I tend to start at the top and it will go in. There we go, I think I've got it there. So I've got the relay in place and the transistor. So now the first thing we'll, we'll need to do is to wire the transistor. So, right, the way this transistor works is emitter, collector, and base, and in that order. Okay, so first we'll just wire up the transistor. So if you remember rightly, the transistor is gonna be the thing that acts as a switch to actually power this uh, relay on. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the Arduino to tell the transistor to switch on the relay. It's a bit weird, isn't it? But anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is to... So we want the emitter, which is the first pin on this particular transistor. The emitter is going to ground. And it can be any ground, really. Just choose a ground and then put it in. It could be on the Arduino or the FTDI or whatever. And now we need to wire up the power. And the power is going to go to the relay. So um, we want 5 volts. I'm going to, I'm getting my 5 volts from the FTDR UART, but you might have to get it from some other place, just not the Arduino. So um, 5 volts to the relay. And then from the relay, let's see if I can get another color, purple, that'll do. From the relay, or from the coil on the relay more specifically, we're going to go to the collector. So power is going to go from 5 volts to the coil, then out of the coil to the collector, and then from the collector it will go to the emitter, and then from the emitter it will go to ground. So that's the power um, done really. 
But there's one more pin to um, consider and that's the base pin. And if you remember how transistors work, if you supply a voltage to the base pin, um, it allows the current from the other two pins to flow. Um, there's a little bit more to it, but that's enough for now. So anyway, so we need to get pin 2 to base, and when we write high to the base, the relay should switch on. But we can't just link it directly, because if we do that, we'll end up with the same problem as we would power in the relay from the Arduino. The, the transistor might draw too much. So I've just done a quick calculation and if you do um, 5 volts divided by 0 0.02 which is 20 milliamps um, you get a value 250 ohms and I'm going to exceed that just to be on the safe side and I'm going to add a 1 kilo ohm resistor between base and pin 2. Okay, that appears to be in there. So far, so good. So now it's time to write a sketch. So the first thing I've done is uh, define uh, a pin. It's pin number two, and I've called it relay. So after that, in setup, I've just written pin mode relay, which is pin two, and then I've set it to output, output mode. Then it's really simple. In the loop, digital write the relay pin high, then wait for nine seconds, and then set digital re uh, write to the relay pin low, and then wait for nine seconds, and of course that just repeats forever. So that's the code, really easy. Okay, so I flashed it, and it should start clicking every nine seconds. So there's a click. and there's the other click so um, it's working so what we need to do now is to test it and uh, actually show you that it's working I'm going to use this multimeter so I'll bring the multimeter into the scene there are actually lots of ways of testing this but um, I'm going to do it the lazy way and I'm just going to check the resistance of course what we expect to happen is that when the um, when the switch is off or open circuit or whatever you like you want to call it resistance will be very high and when the circuit is closed um, resistance will be very low so I'll just connect this up now so there you go that's closed circuit 18 ohms and that's open circuit infinite ohms So of course, if if you connect this up now, this is um, it's working 20 ohms. So if you connect this up, this is closed circuit. So whatever is currently on this one, what loads are currently on this one, would now be turned on, and now they'd be turned off, and this one will be turned on. So if I just push this into this one, um, you can see that this is closed circuit. Now it's open circuit. I switch it back over again. They're the opposite. So yeah, that's a little bit about relays and how to wire them up properly to the Arduino. So I'll just show you again, if I just move this out of the way, I'll just disconnect these. And let's zoom in again so you can see. There's the relay and I've got the purple and the red connected. They are the uh, connections to the coil, they power the coil or not part of the coil. That's a transistor which um, basically controls whether the relay gets power to it or not. You can see the base pin, I've got a resistor there, if I can just move this, and that's a 1k resistor and that's from pin 2 of the Arduino. Um, you know what the code does and the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. These two here, it's just a 5 volt on ground or 5 volt supply to the coil. Of course, it's external to the Arduino, um, and the reason being is because we don't want to draw 70 milliamps from the Arduino because it's not supposed to do that. So, yeah, we draw the 70 milliamps from an external 
supply and um, we just do the switch in with the Arduino which um, pretty much takes no current whatsoever so there you go um, I hope you like the video and thank you for watching bye